Okay, so in this episode, we'll just be looking at the work area of Adobe Flash CS4 so that we're all familiar with where all the main tools are. So I've just opened up Adobe Flash CS4 and it is quite a large program. So if it's the first time you're opening it, just be a little patient with it because it does take a little while longer to open in comparison to other programs. So what we've got here is um, the welcome screen and at the moment I've got it under essentials mode and you can just click on the arrow here to change it into different modes so for example if I wanted to change it into classic mode I can select classic mode and that will make it look like um, what Adobe Flash looked like in the earlier versions but I'm more used to the essentials one so I'll just select that back and um, this is your welcome screen which is um, what you see when you first open Adobe Flash um, the welcome screen is very similar to the welcome screens of other Adobe applications like Adobe Dreamweaver and Adobe Fireworks. So you've got uh, you know three panels here, you know with options to choose from. You've got on this side an open recent item um, menu bar. Um, so you've got here you can select different files that you've worked on um, recently. You can also create a new file, and you can also create files and templates as well. So what we'll do now is to open a new flash file with ActionScript 3.0. So this will bring you to um, the um, work area of actual file that you're working on. So you've got here your stage, which is just the white part here. You've also got on the left hand side your toolbars menu, which is very similar to the toolbars in Adobe Fireworks. And as you can see, some of the toolbar icons have little arrows coming out of them. If they've got little arrows coming out of them, it means that there's different um, tool options underneath it. So for example, you've got here um, a rectangle tool, but if you click on it, the, there's a rectangle tool, an oval tool, a rectangle primitive tool, oval primitive tool, and polystar tool. So there's sort of different shape tools hidden below the main rectangular tool. And if I select oval tool, it will become the oval tool, and you have to sort of click on the arrow again and select rectangle to tool to get that back. Okay, so another important um, part of Adobe Flash is your timeline. So if I open up the timeline here, which at the bottom at the moment is at the bottom of my screen, you can see there's a little squares all the way through. So those are your cells. And what happens is if you make um, animations in Adobe Flash, each cell will contain like a still image so that when the program flicks through all the cells really, really quickly, it looks like the animation is moving. So really like you know what animations really are. Um, you've also got a motion editor here, which you can edit your motion of the animation in more detail. So obviously at the moment we haven't done anything yet, so there's nothing to do in the motions editor, but in a later episode we'll be working with um, the motion editor. In your timeline, we've also got layers. So this button down here, adds new layers to it and we'll be looking at how we can use layers to make animations um, in a later episode. The last thing I just want to show you um, is the panels um, windows. So at the moment I've got a library um, panel here but there's, um, there's heaps more panels. If you go up to window these are all your panels so there is heaps and heaps and heaps of panels. So at the moment, I've got my timeline ticked because I've got that opened, I've got the tools ticked, and if I click on the library, it will open my library panel um, as well. And what you can do is you can move the panels around to your liking. So for example, like even with the timelines panel, some people like their timeline at the top, so they can just select it at the top. Personally, I like it at the bottom. And just dock it back. Okay, I'll just close it for the time being. So what you can do as well is you can dock your panels. So if I just click, um, just put this back here. If I slowly drag this um, to the libraries panel, you can see there's a blue line. If I unclick it, that will dock my panels. And then I can undock my panels. So I can click that out and undock my panels. Put it back at the top, okay? So that's basically um, our Adobe Flash 